Um, what does FedEx reg- not do that? Is it the legality of it? Um, it's one is the legality of it. And then there's kind of the justification for why it's set up that way. And there's a number of reasons. One is California really wanted to implement this thing called seed to sale. Um, essentially, they wanted to be able to trace from the moment the cannabis plant was harvested to when it ended up in consumers hands. And when you have such strict supply chain procedures, uh, you need specialized groups that will kind of comply and you know, disclose all those things and et cetera. And FedEx clearly uh, isn't particularly specialized to do that. Um, the second reason is there's, you know, concerns around cross-contamination. So people like weed now, but they're still not really sure if it should be shipped next to baby products, for example. That's uh, fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I think generally, I think this, this will probably remain the case the same way I think alcohol distribution, for example, is extremely specialized and not just regulated substances. Um, if you're transporting hazardous materials like, you know, flammable gases, there are certain procedures yeah. that you follow and licenses that you need. I was going to ask if this is the same where alcohol, tobacco are also not allowed to be transported next to, say, baby products or if it's just pot. Yeah, exactly. They specifically don't want to mix alcohol and cannabis because they're kind of concerned about, you know, the so-called cross I mean, there's a big opportunity in that. Obviously, you're taking right. advantage of that. That's so fascinating. 